These are the delusional rantings of Ian Crossland. So, this is a legal process. I decided uh, I'm not going to break the law. I want to change the law. I think the law will change. I think it's getting more progressive. I think everybody should be able to get a, car, a card, everyone in the U.S. and everyone in the world. I told the doctor that. I said everyone in the U.S. He said everyone in the world. And I see the whole galaxy. I mean, why not have the option to get the card? Then you can do it and it's legal. You don't sell it. It's not about that. It's not about the transfer of it. You don't have people selling large amounts of it on the street. And that's the problem with it. What? Rewind that. We gotta watch that first part again. You don't sell it. It's not about that. It's not about the transfer of it. It's about the usage of it for personal use, which should be optionally legal. I love that. I love that little phrase, optionally legal. While we're at it, why don't we make murder, rape, theft, everything else optionally legal? Um... That's why people abuse it, I think, marijuana, or anything really, is because it, you, know, you're, you're, you feel guilty about what you've done. Yes, I have seen many weed smokers in my time, after they're done smoking, feel so very guilty about what they've done and how they have smoked their weed. Yes, let's take a look at some of these people. have shame and so for some reason it causes us to repeat it like you've done it once and no one knows the people in the pictures that I showed you they look so sadly stricken by guilt and they look like they can't handle themselves um I don't know really what you're talking about half the time but people do it again because they like doing it again they don't do it because they feel guilty that they're doing something bad so what do you think about that So it's all out. It's all out in the open. I wanna. I wanna open up about what I'm doing about using marijuana. I don't drink alcohol. Don't judge me. Don't judge. Don't judge anyone. Huh? What? I didn't say anything. Judge you? I'm, dude. I'm so past judging you. Don't even, I mean, look at yourself, but don't judge yourself. Just look at yourself. I'm looking at myself, I'm trying not to judge myself, but by the appearance, it looks like I need a drink. And yeah, your video's not helping either. We all, we all do things. Like think before we speak. We all have a way of life that we live. I live in a cave. And I think if we're not hurting each other, if we're not violence toward, violent towards each other, if we're not aggressing on each other, if we're not imposing on each other. Okay, if we're not those things, then, then what? I don't think you've finished the complete thought there, buddy. Also, I want to talk about child abuse. Because it's been on my mind a lot lately. There are a thousand other things I would rather have on my mind than sexual abuse. Like, chocolate cake. And I've been going in circles about it, like, because I think about child abuse, does that mean, like, people have said, oh, this guy's a classic child molester in the making. I've seen, like, comments over there, like, he's just like Charles Manson. Just for further reference... Charles Manson was a murderer. He was not a child molester. Okay. And that, like, I start to question it. I, I see it, and, it, and it, it affects me. And I think, am I like Charles Manson? Am I a child molester? Is this what happens with people that become child molesters? Yes. Or are child molesters people that always kept it to themselves? 
always kept in their mind, I'm attracted to children. A lot of the times with sexual abuse, it doesn't have to do with attraction. It's more with the power and control that they get from their victim. So, um, you might want to read a book about sexual abuse before you speak on it. Okay? Thanks. And then they went and they, they did it because they were ashamed of it. Because they didn't realize... Like, I'm not, I'm not attracted to children. But I, there is a physical connection with children. You, you, you touch them and they touch you. And it's... You know... Um... No, I don't know. You might want to elaborate more. Elaborate. You might want to explain that series a little bit more in detail because it sounds kind of weird. You, there's a balance. There's no, there's no aggression. I, I feel connected to child abuse because Amanda experienced it when she was six, and I see the the horrific effects of it. I'm sorry, just because you see someone else going through something um, does not mean you're connected to that issue, um, especially with sexual abuse. A lot of people try to interject of how people must be feeling and put in their own uh, two cents. Unless you've been sexually abused, you really don't know what's really going on. You can read all the books you want. You really do not have a clue what's going on. So, just stop it. Just, no. Just. And the aggressive, it's like hitting someone. I don't hit people. That's great. Do you want a biscuit or a cookie? They teach you that in what? Kindergarten? Not to hit people? Okay, what else do you got for me? So, so I'm, I'm like, I start to question it, like, there is no wrong, it is an experience, but everything is an experience, and I don't do everything. I, I choose the things that I do, and I choose to not do things that are violent, and I choose to not do, like, hard drugs. Could have fooled me. Anything that's going to really get my body addicted to it. Not that there's not an addiction to marijuana, like an addiction to caffeine, but like an addiction, you know, I, I, I've never really experienced, like video games has probably been the worst addiction I've ever had, and now I've replaced that with communication, and it's kind of become an addiction for me, not really, oh uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, Is can communication be an addiction? You have an addiction to video games, you might as well add on communication, communication sounds more something. Is this an addiction? I really enjoy it. I feel like I'm learning. So, you know, child abuse happens, man. No. Really? Or at least it's happened in the past. There's no point in denying it or, or being upset about it or any of that. I don't condone it. I don't think that people are doing it anymore. That has got to be one of the most seriously ignorant things I've ever heard on YouTube. I swear to God. First you say, uh, there's nothing to be um, upset about. This is sexual abuse. This is a type of abuse that where people are in pain. And they are in pain for years, if not their lifetime. And then you say, oh, it may not be happening anymore. You don't think it happens anymore. Open up your fucking eyes. Read a newspaper. Watch the news. Until then, shut the fuck up. I think that being open about it is what makes it not happen. Ian, I'm starting to think you don't have any brain cells in your mind. Sexual abuse is going to stop by uh, being open about it. I don't even know why I'm bothering making this video, because you're going to be the same way you've always But I think sex, if used for anything other than procreation, is a distraction from evolution. You want to know what it's a distraction? You're a distraction. You come out just spouting out random shit about sexual abuse. You have no idea what you're talking about. 
and you're just rambling just to ramble. Using big words, you have n probably no idea what they mean, and it's pretty ignorant. And it's got to anger some of the people out there who have had these things happen in their lives. That someone's talking like they know, like that person knows them. Dude, open up your eyes. Educate yourself. Stop talking about stuff you have no idea what you're talking about. Then come back and see me.